Hello everyone, welcome back. Sorry it's been a little while. Um, I went through the whole graduation process, so I didn't have much time. Uh, I had to shave the day of, other than that. I haven't shaved since the last video where I told you the story about my toe. But I've been tagged by Shave Girl and Student Shaves. I believe it was those two to do a uh, Zoom Groom Challenge. So I'm ready for it. And as a teenager, I'm very competitive. So I bet I can get this real fast. I have the, did I put it back in here? Oh, where did I put it? Well, I'm wearing the Ozark Trail Sterling Pre-Shave. Everything's fallen. Yeah, I don't know where I set that. <laughs> um, but I'm using the Sterling Ozark Mountain Pre-Shave. I'm going to be using my Edwin Jagger DE89 with a second use Persona Platinum Chrome Blade in there. I'm going to use this brush, the Yaki brush, and my newest soap. <laughs> Smells like banana Laffy Taffy's Rabid Banana by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. When it came out, I barely had enough to get it, so I had to. Uh, and it lives up to exactly what I wanted. It smells so good, and it came with this sticker. So I don't know where I'm going to put that, but I'm excited. I'm just gonna get the brush wet. I haven't even soaked this. It's a pretty damn soft soap. Where's my alum rock? Here she is. go. I'm just going to wet the puck and then dump it out. I didn't soak it, bloom it at all. Again, shake my brush dry. Oh, it smells so good. And it's been a while since I've used my red-handled Yaki brush, so I'm excited to use that. And I'm excited to see how I can do with this Zoom Groom. Now, I will say right now, it's going to be a full shave. The first pass is going to be a zoom groom. So, oh my god, it smells so good. All right, that's got to be plenty of lather. It's a pretty damn soft soap. I do have their coke and butter formula, which performs great. I don't I don't need anything else. Oh, I love it. And this is like two weeks of growth. Each time I've showered I've just been like, well, I'm not ready yet. I don't know why, but you know. Teenagers never know what they, why they think what they think. So, you know. I have one other Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Soap. It's also the Coke and Butter formula. I have Tombstone, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. So it's cool to have that. All right. You might have to count for me because I don't have, to have a timer with me. I might put a timer up. I might get off my lazy ass and uh, edit a timer in here, but here we go. Okay. 
Stop it. There she is. There's the first pass, and I nicked my pimple right there, my big pimple. And other than, well, little touch up right there. But other than that, I got it. So, there is the zoom groom. I don't know exactly how fast that was, but I'm pretty happy with how quickly that felt. And I'm telling you right now, I don't know if I've said this yet, but this soap flat out smells like a banana Laffy Taffy. It is the soap. I have two other soaps. I have the Asian Plum by a &E, and I have uh, Water Liptus by Katie's Bubbles. And those are the only other two, but this is easily at the top now that I smell and I want to eat. It smells so good. And I'll edit in at the beginning if I messed up on who it was. I'm pretty sure it was Student Shaver and Shave Girl. I'm pretty sure those are the two. And also, thank you guys. Um, I haven't really said it yet, but because uh, it's been a while, I uploaded a few videos that were a little bit after I recorded them. But thank you. Uh, specifically, I think it's... The Dude Shaves, I think he calls himself. He shared it within the uh, the Facebook group of... Uh, I forget which Facebook group it was. I can't remember if it was... The Rick shaving video? Or shave... I can't remember if it's Rick or the YouTuber shaving group. Hmm. It was one of the two. Thank you, dude. Uh, I got a bunch of people coming in. I suddenly got a bunch of notifications that people were commenting on my video. And it, it was humbling, I will say. And... The shaving community is just full of nice people. And the least I can do is say thank you. Because the only reason I wet shave is because I was in a I was on YouTube and saw a wet shaving video and I, s I barely knew anything about shaving then. Cartridge razors, safety razors, any of that. Actually, I think the thing I knew the most about was straight razors because back then I was still into knives. And knife sharpening and once I needed to shave well before I was into knives and knife sharpening specifically my Spyderco Endura most of the time I would put a if I had a fresh edge I would the only thing that would show is my peach fuzz on my upper lip and I would just get grab my sharpest knife most of the time the Endura and 
put some soap on there and a little bit of water and shave with a knife that definitely wasn't sharp enough to have a comfortable shave. But once I really needed to shave, the first thing I ever used to really shave was a Rolls razor. Next video, or one of these videos at least, I will uh, go back with everything I'm shaving and I will shave with the stuff that I shaved with right at the beginning. The only thing that's going to change is the brush because the original brush that I had is actually, I believe, the same one as Nick Shaves. The Escali Badger brush for like $12. It's not a good brush. <laughs> it is not a good brush. So, I'll grab one of my OG brushes other than that. And that was 2017. I was back in 2017. Like early summer 2017. I love the Edwin Jagger. I've never tried. Never held. Never nothing. The uh, Mercur 34C. But... If I ever get a Mercur 34, or a Mercur in general, it's either going to be the, oh, I don't know which one it is, the long handled uh, adjustable that they have. Is it the Progress or is that the short? I don't know. Or the 23C. One of the reasons I love the Black Beauty, the Wilkinson Sword Twist to Open, and the uh, Gillette King C, the, well, the King C Gillette. The reason I like one of the reasons I like those so much is because they have nice long handles. So there's the full shave, and it's pretty smooth. I am very consistently getting some nice smooth shaves. And I still have a lingering scent of both the banana and the Ozark Mountain. Oh, the banana shave soap. I'm telling you. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to rinse out the puck. Just freaking out over here.
It smells so good. Oh, and performs great. Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements is a great company. I believe they used to be How to Grow a Mustache. If I do am correct. If I do am correct. Oh yeah. No burn. No burn at all. That soap, the smell is just... <sighs> um, aftershave, well, dry off my face. And then I'll put on the aftershave. I'm feeling daring today. I haven't used a splash in a while. And my dad used to love Old Spice aftershave splash. And I have quite a bit left here. Oh, it's down here. I have this. <laughs> I have quite a bit. So, and it does smell really good. And this is Shelton. So this is the old, the gold, old good stuff to my understanding. I've got a bit there. Oh. Mm. A good burn. Doesn't didn't burn as much as I thought it would. Oh, well there it is. There she is. A wonderful shave. The first pass was the uh, Zoom Groom Challenge that I was tagged in. Once again, thank you for tagging me. Because uh, I'm always willing to do stuff. Going fast. I'm pretty sure I can do that. But I'm also going to put on a balm because... Uh, splashes dry out your face a bit. I'm just going to have some Zeal Aftershave Balm. And it has a little bit of menthol in there. Oh, um, uh, I'm in, into VR right now. Uh, I have an Oculus Rift S. So I'm really into VR gaming. So that's where most of my money is going. But once I have a little extra money, hopefully when I get a job, oh man, the menthol, the scent is so nice. But um, once I get a little bit of money, I, I think it's Texas Soap Company. You can get one of the big things about the two brands that I like the most which is Sterling and uh, Soap Commander, is that they're, they're very high quality soaps by great people, and they're very inexpensive. Soap Commander being $2.50 an ounce, and Sterling, I believe, being $2.34 an ounce. I believe that is what it is. I could be wrong, but um, t that, that other company, I think, is $2.00. 45 cents or 55 cents. It's in the 250 range and They sound like they have some really good sense. So also if any of you know of more artisans that are under three dollars an ounce That would be awesome. I know there's Parasso and uh, um, 
There's Parasso. There's Razor Rock. I do want to get more Razor Rock. Um, which I believe is the same company as Italian Barber. I'm not totally sure, but I believe so. But like you have Parasso, which is less than a dollar an ounce. You have Cremo, I think. You have uh, like Palm Olive, stuff like that. But Artisans, if you know of any Artisans that are under $3 an ounce, let me know because, oh, sorry, three to four, uh, um, under $4 an ounce, that that brings in like Katie's Bubbles, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, A&E, which are great companies as well. They make some good soaps from what I've used. And, uh, oh man, it smells so good. It smells like Laffy Taffy, Banana Laffy Taffy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you to all my viewers, all my new viewers, and uh, my comrades in the shaving YouTube uh, landscape. And uh, I'm just a gator love shaving, and I'll see you next time. Farewell.